and money, recruits, just to combat Cypher. Rubbing our noses in bloody battlefield dirt. All for revenge. Hey guys, it's Tony from 1UP Island, and I have here with me, again, Edgar Kastner. We're going to talk about Metal Gear Solid V. Uh, it was shown, Mr. Kojima showed it during the Microsoft press conference of E3, and I was kind of surprised that he was there. <laughs> it's just kind of weird that Kojima was on stage with Microsoft, because he is known, not really like a Sony fanboy, but he's known to... Um, like Sony a little bit more than Xbox if you know well it, he's he's just kind of yeah he's he's mainly put his stuff uh ever since um metal the original metal gear was on the NES but past that it's usually been put it's on Sony. Sony uh consoles especially first um they didn't even put metal gear solid 4 on anything but a PlayStation 3 uh the only thing i can think of is uh, Kojima's a known uh quote unquote westabu he he more than most like in Japan first person shooters third person shooters aren't very popular uh Definitely. Kojima's a known fan of those i mean, you can especially see it in just you know metal gear just has this like fetish about getting the guns and everything and just about westerns and like western stuff in general mm -hmm. i mean metal gear is based off uh, what movie was it i, I can't remember um, I don't know. Really I can't remember what movie it was based off. Of. It did have like uh, the cover to the original Metal Gear um, had the guy uh, Reese from uh, the Terminator. <laughs> yeah, so I mean he he loves the stuff that we have here, and then uh, just showing it during the Xbox. It didn't take anything away from the game. Like I forgot it was even the Microsoft press conference because he was the first one up. Yeah. Um, and showed like the four minute trailer. Did you get a chance to watch the nine minute extended one? It's multiple, I masturbated to it every night since. That one is pretty nuts. Like he was talking about like how the, you know, he's going to like taboos and how this is going to be the most like, um, just kind of like kind of realistic and just, you know, I guess taboo ish <laughs> Metal Gear out there. It's already tabooed um, with uh, allegedly, uh, you know, Kiefer Sutherland taking over for David Hader as Snake. Yeah, and what do you, I never really got your thoughts on that. Like, me, I don't, it's Kiefer Sutherland. I, I haven't, I don't hate him. Like, his voice is, is iconic. Like, you, you hear his voice and you pretty much know it's him. Um, like, what do you think, David Hader? I, I wasn't not a fan. He was kind of. He, um, he, but he, the problem is, is David Hader is iconic as Solid Snake. It's right. one of the most iconic voices in video games. So at this point, at this stage of the game, to then just like go, eh, you know, fuck it, uh, it seems off kilter. Uh, and it seems, and we know Kojima, I mean, he's the guy who, you know, made everyone believe that Metal Gear Solid 2 was going to have you play as Solid Snake the entire time. Then yes, sort of he could be trolling us. Like, he, yeah. <laughs> Kojima is the notorious troll. Especially with that whole the phantom pain with the whale and the the, the fake company and all that stuff. So, I mean, he could. People are thinking, you know, he's just trolling. And people actually think in the trailer, think that he's, um, uh, is it Cause? The guy with the sunglasses? Yeah. Yeah, people think that that's actually, um, Keith or Sutherland and not. He's not playing Snake. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. The, the one thing that I've always known is, again, since uh, spoiler alert, uh, the end of Metal Gear Solid 4 is that Big Boss and Salt Snake had different voices. So I think what yeah. we're going to see eventually is that um, I, I don't know because uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 is going to have a prequel called The Ground Zeroes, correct? Ground Zeroes, yes. So which is I honestly believe that uh, David Hayter is still going to continue to uh, voice Big Boss in that. And after the after the uh, um, after the coma is when the, the voice is going to change because again we know at some point their voices don't match up and it, right. it would especially be weird if we ever you know uh come in contact uh, with the the young solid snake and they both have the same that voice be, that'd be you know weird that would that would fuck my mind like mm -hmm. i mean i'm already kind of just just everything that they showed in the trailer seeing like all these people and like oh that guy get kid eli he's actually liquid or i believe you know, that and just yeah, and then like Ocelot in a young Ocelot, it's just kind of, it's just really weird, no. uh, and it's just gonna kind of, you know, hopefully this kind of pieces together and gets to the Metal Gear series, 
um the, the nes version or well, i guess what was um yeah it was the M nes the msx NES and the msx yeah maybe it'll it'll get to that point or be you know a little bit before it so we do meet a young um snake it would it would be weird we'll see how he pans it out i mean the story from from what i'm seeing is they're going on to like where the the, the clones are kind of there or whatever yeah um and the kids and the, the guns and the diamond slaves and just crazy stuff that uh, like Kojima said, it hasn't been done in video games yet, story-wise. And uh, that trailer was when they were just ripping the, you know, getting the testins and taking out the what was probably cocaine or heroin yeah, out of the kid. That, that was nuts. That, Do you know who that kid is? Uh, it's Paz from uh, Peace Walker. Oh, is it? Yeah. Shit. That's because I was actually just thinking about that. It's actually why I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm. I'm almost done with Mill Gear Solid Three, and I'm gonna play through. And we're we're gonna actually uh, an announcement here uh, on Mondays now at uh, 5 p.m. Pacific time. It's gonna be co-ops uh, with me and Yuki Jiro, and with me and Tony here. We're gonna be playing Peace Walker together oh, yeah. on the PlayStation Three. So HD versions. We can actually use thumbsticks. Oh, thank God. Beautiful. And we're gonna see sort of the rise of Paz, and because like I remember her, and she's like this this young girl who's got like you know golden hair, and it's in you yeah. know golden locks, and I'm like. And then we move to it, it feels again like I, I can feel the tonal difference from Peace Walker and then to like that same kid getting like her like getting opened up oh, while, while Big Boss holds her down and just like yeah. just, or her, like you can see her just like essentially just going insane from the pain and they pull out like, this beeping thing from her intestines. It just feels what the fuck? fuck and then yeah. the chico he, he, you find him in like some sort of like i know camp and he's got like this this thing attached to his head it feels very much like it like if you take like what like a cartoon that you watched as a kid and then all of a sudden it's like 10 years later there's there's hookers <laughs> and people are addicted to meth yeah you know someone died someone's in the in jail and it feels this big just like these characters that you got to know and then just like shoved into this like this just shithole and you're like fuck oh oh my god yeah, I don't think the, uh, was the the Outer Haven and all that that initiative did all you know great for some people, and they're not going to make it uh, at all. Like it, yeah, it's gruesome, and it's going to get like just playing the game. I, I like just just looking at it like visually, it looks really nice, and just I know Kojima is going to fit like forty hours of just cutscenes, <laughs> and they're going to be excellent. Um, I I'm kind of hoping. Or I want it to be more like on track to where it's not because he was making an open world, mm -hmm. he said, and I don't know how that's gonna fit the formula. You know what I mean? Because usually Metal Gears are pretty linear. Um, it, there's some you can do different things, but they're not, it's this is gonna be open world horseback stealth. I mean, come on. Well, it, I think that's <laughs> if, if he does it right, this is going to be the next generation of stealth games where you, right. uh, instead of having these very tightly controlled, I mean, obviously there's going to be buildings in some sections that are going to be more controlled and contained. But what's funner than, you know, sort of getting these, this sort of AI and these sort of these situations in like these little, these little things that can happen and then seeing how you yourself maneuver through them with just this huge arsenal of stuff. I, Cause I remember when, the, with the, one of the things about Metal Gear Solid 4 is that you have this huge array of like weapons that can kill people and just like tons of guns and then I go through the game with the one tranquilizer gun and I'm like I, I got all this shit I need an environment to use it in and hopefully that's what they're doing they're just going to give us tons of equipment and just tons of different ways to use it and uh, have AI that will actually react differently depending on what we're using especially with the right. quote unquote dynamic CQC the dynamic CQC it had a lot of weird buzzwords but Kojima's known for that <laughs> Uh, this it takes place after Peace Walker, so Outer Haven is. I think it's it's going to be when he's. This is him starting to construct Outer Haven. Construct it, okay. And kind of, because uh, I mean, at some point, again, he's going to have to. It's going to connect with Metal Gear, so Big right. Boss is going to have to get back with the United States government at some point, while secretly having Outer Haven on the back burner, and then That's Salt Snake comes and fucks everything up for him. What a jerk! See, it's. What if it like transitions into like Metal Gear or like the end of Metal Gear? <laughs> so you're like at Outer Haven, you're like do 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 do, and all of a sudden like that shit goes down in Metal Gear, 
and you played like during that part. Man, That'd a be... remake of Metal Gear One and Two. We've been, I've been. But you don't for play. It. Yeah, but you don't play as a snake. You play as. Oh Big yeah, Boss. and then you have to lose because that's then the way it goes. You have to lose. <laughs> oh god, that'd be too much. That'd, that'd, be, too that'd much. be interesting, and then uh, that, that'd be interesting to see again, like you know, the ending of Metal Gear that we know where he dies. Um, right. And but I would, Spoilers, I would still I like to uh, see a remake of Metal Gear One and Two, just because. Just, He's, I want to play Solid Snake again. God damn it! Yeah, I, I, I don't think even after these, you know, these are both big boss from what it looks like. Yeah. So I don't think we're ever gonna touch Snake again, unless yeah, they do the remakes. Unless they do a remake, he's not really big on remake. Uh, well, I guess Metal Gear Solid Three HD and Two HD, but those are they're, they're, those are already. That's like that's pretty much the same game. Like I want like a yeah. full big like reimagining like full, of the one. games, and they should they should just do one game and just remake both because they weren't super both long games. Just yeah. d- just that's like that's it, and then you close the circle, <laughs> and then Kojima can finally say, "All right, let's eat. <laughs> finally, does. let's eat. No, no more." <laughs> well, story. That's not even a Japanese accent. No, it's Japanese. not even a Japanese. Well, we'll end it on your horrible Japanese. Yes. Um, <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for listening. Again, you can go ahead and oneupisland.com. Check out more Good. videos like this. Feel free to subscribe if you like what we said. Good. Yeah, feel, you know, subscribe it, like it, dislike it, leave us a hateful comment, whatever. Do what you want. But again, this is Tony. Thank you. And uh, thank you, Edgar Kastner. Bye.